And if you are sitting on the ground, just gently cross the legs in front of you. Hands can rest on the upper legs, the knees. If you're on a couch or a chair, then sit forward so the knees are directly over the ankles and you can sit up nice and tall. Once you're ready, gently draw your eyes closed and we will get started. And before we start with our shamatha technique today, let's take a couple of moments to allow ourselves to arrive and set the theme for our practice. Take a couple moments and simply observe your being right now. Bring your awareness to your mind and check it out. Notice how it feels. Notice if there's anything prominent on your mind right now. Just become aware. And you can even come up with a word to describe the state of your mind, if you'd like. And doing a similar thing with the body, give yourself a gentle body scan. Simply notice how the body feels. And maybe you come up with a word to describe the state of your body. And eventually take a couple moments to notice your emotional well-being. So what emotion do you feel right now? What kind of state is your emotional well-being in? And simply become aware we're just here to notice, not to judge. And let all that go and simply begin to take a couple big cleansing breaths. So inhale deeply through the nostrils, filling your lungs completely. And your choice, you can either exhale through the mouth or just a big exhale through the nose, whatever feels good for you today. And take a couple of those big cleansing breaths, allowing the mind and body to be oxygenated, simply arriving here and now. Whenever you're ready to resume normal breathing, feel free to do so, yet stay connected in the body Allow the awareness to shift from all those thinking tasks, the external world, to your internal environment. And as we're here, I'd like to introduce a thought for our practice tonight, or possibly even a theme for your week this week. And the thought is this. Do not be distracted with the external, but fill your life with matters of the heart, for that is eternal. And that's a little quote slash passage from myself. Um, I'll read it again for you. So do not be distracted with the external, but fill your life with matters of the heart, for that is eternal. So maybe you take a couple moments to ponder that, possibly reflecting on where you spend your time and energy throughout the day, throughout your weeks, throughout the year. Do you spend your time and energy on things external from you? Do you spend your time and energy on matters of the heart? So in other words, maybe connecting spiritually to your meditation practice, which you're doing right now, to things that are eternal, if you will, rather than things that are constantly changing within the external world. So take a couple moments and maybe you evaluate where you spend the most time, the most energy. When we, and I'm speaking from my own experience, begin to fill our days with more and more of the spiritual matters, of the matters of being with ourselves, with the matters of serving others, with the matters that we kind of go through life from a heart-centered place rather than what I can get or what I'm doing or where I'm going with my life. Life tends to be more joyous, more peaceful. We approach the world with how can I serve rather than what can I get for myself. So if you were to think about going throughout this week and having your focus on matters of your heart, of approaching life from a space within rather than focusing on the external and everything around you and what you can achieve? How would your time be spent? What would change for you? 
And these are just questions to ponder, and there's no right or wrong, just something to contemplate. And I'd like to suggest to you that as we take the time to approach life from the spiritual standpoint, from that which is a matter of the heart, things get a lot easier. When we let go of where we're going in life, all those tangible things that we're trying to achieve, and we focus on being in the moment with another person, when we focus on finding the beautiful little moments in life, or simply being with ourselves as we are, then we can really find the beauty and those are the things that are eternal and last forever. So maybe you take into consideration how you can approach this week from the heart. How can you spend more time, maybe spiritually, maybe just with yourself, maybe doing something that really fills your heart. And that might be something like serving others, whether it's the person you're sitting next to or whether it's just doing a good deed for somebody or forgiving somebody. What can you do this week to tune back in, to connect, to live from your heart? And as we are here practicing together tonight, we are doing something right here and now to transition from the external and come within. So when you're ready, just find a little transition in the mind. We'll begin to start our practice, our shamatha technique. If your eyes are closed, gently peel them open and find somewhere to look ahead of you on the ground, about three to six feet. And once the eyes are open, begin to establish your posture. So bring your awareness towards the body and allow the legs to sink down towards whatever surface they're resting on. Relax the feet, soften the sits bones and the hips. Begin to strengthen the back body while you lift the spine up towards the ceiling, stacking every vertebra one on top of another. Allow the crown of the head to effortlessly reach up towards the ceiling above you. Relax your face, softening your forehead. Relax the eyebrows and the eyes. Soften the cheeks and the jaw. Allow the lips to soften. Relax the teeth and gently float the tongue down away from the roof of your mouth. Soften your ears, the back of your head. And chin is lifted towards about parallel with the ground. And though the eyes are open, we are not actively gripping or seeing. We're just allowing the visual field to enter through the eyes. So almost imagine as though there's an infinite horizontal line in front of you that you're trying to see as much of as you can. Just let the light enter the eyes. And soften the shoulders, relax the chest and the belly. The back body is strong, the front body is open and soft. Begin to feel the breath in your body. Feel the inhales and exhales arrive and exit your being. Notice how it simply feels to breathe. Can you allow your mind to feel the full extent of your inhales and your exhales? Can you stay with the breath and even notice the pause between the inhales and the exhales and, and how that <clears throat> excuse me, how that gradient shifts from one to another, back and forth. Almost as though your mind is on a little hammock 
rocking side to side, relaxing in the hammock, such as your breath. Allow the mind to simply feel the breath, to rest into it. And as we're here feeling the breath, the mind will naturally think, and that's okay. We're not here to stop thinking, we're simply here to observe all those thoughts that begin to arise within the mind. Some thoughts may just bubble up in the background, but you'll be able to still continue feeling the breath in the body. We're just going to let that be. If, however, you begin to link up with those thoughts, you begin to forget about feeling the breath in your body and focus on going on a new train of thoughts. Notice when that happens, become aware and label it thinking. Once you've labeled it thinking, simply return to feeling the breath in the body. Start again. Thinking can consist of all sorts of things. It might be an internal monologue. It might be evaluating or creating plans for the future. It may be linking to an external noise, a distraction outside of you. Anything other than feeling the breath in the body, we will label thinking. Again, the mind's job is to think just like the heart's job is to beat. We are not here to stop it. We're simply here to be with ourselves, to observe, to notice where the mind goes. So try this technique, practice it. Feel the breath in the body. When you forget about feeling the breath, when you notice you're no longer actively feeling the inhales and the exhales, label whatever you're doing thinking and return. Release any sorts of judgment or things that you think should be happening. Again, that's thinking. Find love for yourself as your, and your practice and simply just let yourself be in this beautiful moment.
gently draw your practice to a close. If you'd like to add subtle movements or maybe close the eyes, find what feels good. We'll eventually meet up with the palms touching at heart center and the eyes drawn close. Take your time before you arrive in this position. Take a couple moments to yet again observe how you feel right now. Draw your awareness to your mind, your headspace. Observe, notice what it feels like. Notice the qualities of your mind. Simply what it feels like in the space within your head. What word describes the state of your mind right now? And draw your awareness to your body. Check it out. Notice how it feels. What word describes your body? And eventually tune in to your emotional well-being. What emotion, what kind of energy do you feel right now? And maybe you take note of how you feel now in comparison to how you felt when we first met. It might be the same, it might be different, but become aware. And take a moment to give yourself a smile and really thank yourself for showing up here tonight, for dedicating your time to your health, your life, and your well-being. For it is when we show up when we practice, when we allow ourselves to be with ourselves or even that something more in life, that the state that you cultivated right here and now becomes to be more of what is, more of the natural state within us. So really thank yourself for showing up here and practicing. And thank you so very much for sharing your beautiful energy and practice with me and everyone else who joined in here today. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.